This one is a sad one. What would you have done if you were treated like a criminal for sending money to a child that you helped raise for 15 years? Why are you sending her daughter money? I mean, it's just She's, she's 16 years old, Your Honor. We've been together for 15 of those 16 years. She's been my stepdaughter. She had, she makes all A's in 11th grade. I said, I get, I, when she got into high school, I told her I'd give her $50 for every A. I'm very proud of her. She makes good grades. As far as I know, she's respectful to her mother. I, I, I don't see why she shouldn't get what she asked for. I don't, I'm, I'm not rich. I don't volunteer the money. But she, she could ask me for money like a child would ask her dad. $30 for the movie. $25 to go to Linux. I, and then, you know, I haven't, to be honest with you, I haven't seen Miss Stagia or her daughter in over a year and a half. I, this is the big, this day is, this has been the biggest day of my life, waste of my day in almost two years. I'm not in a relationship with her. I don't communicate with her. Last email she sent me on December 20th was to send, send her the money to buy Milan's Christmas gifts. And I'm looking at the dates. She asked for money on December 20th. This is Miss Stagia asking for money. She asked for money on December 20th. She filed this protection order on December 8th. No, it was more like November. It wasn't December 20th. This is the biggest, this is the biggest waste of the court's time. I'm, I'm, I don't deal with her. I don't have any dealings with her. I don't, right. know, I don't know if she lives, works, or anything. So, Mr. Montgomery, let me ask you a question. And, and it doesn't matter. Are you still on probation? No. Okay. What would you have done? He's now being accused of abuse for sending her money. He and this lady, they are not together and he doesn't even know where they live. She filed a TPO against him because she doesn't want him to send money to her daughter directly. The way I see it is this. She just wants him to send money because she knows he cares about her daughter. And at the same time, she can't put him under child support. So this is one way for her to get money out of somebody that's not her father. According to mtlawoffice.com, a TPO is a court order designed to help victims of family or dating violence obtain protection from the individual or individual who are abusing, harassing, or stalking them. Mind you, this is a man that has raised this child for more than 15 years, and all of a sudden, he cannot be trusted to send money to this child. I moved out the house when the incident she's talking about, she was so in fear for her life. When I woke up that morning, she was on my couch saying, good morning, and she was sorry. She wrote a letter to get the charges dropped. I don't want any dealings with her. You asking for a protection, her asking for a protection order against me? Judge, to be honest with you, you might as well ask, because I'm not going to bother her no more than I'm going to bother you. I don't deal with her, period. Like, I don't at all. I'm, I'm, I'm almost in here for a stranger. I don't, I, don't, I don't talk to this young lady. I don't bother her. I don't call her daughter and ask her, do she need money? She calls, she asks me, she texts me as a, as, a, as a child would do her father. And I, I have to cash out transactions. And I can show you the emails where Ms. Stagel has been trying to contact me. I haven't even responded to one of her emails in over two years. So when she's contacted you, what, is she, what has she said other than, has she said, stop contacting my daughter? What has she said? I can show you. I still, I, just, I saved them all for this just reason. I'm, can you, I'm not sure if you can see this, Your Honor. One more thing. Yeah, she's asking for a PlayStation and a play Is that from your step, the stepdaughter? No, that's from the lady, the young lady on the TV screen. And it looks like it was said in November. No, that's December. I can, I, I know that's that's I, December I can read. I, if you all feel like can read, it says one. It says um. December twentieth. I can I can I can read it for the judge. It says one more thing. Let me read it. Not sure. One more thing. Not sure if you want to help out with Christmas for Milan. The entitlement. Ah, Karen is now criminal. In all of this, there is no consideration of his emotion or his feelings at all. There is not even an ounce of remorse. You can see this man trying to hold back the sorrow in his voice. It's very sad. She's making demands of him as if he owes her daughter fatherhood. According to the guy, he never intrudes in the daughter's life at all. The daughter is always the one reaching out to him for assistance. When you do the right thing and the other person finds a way to make you look like the bad guy. It's really sad. I appreciate you sending me a lot of money. However, I would appreciate it if you went through me first. If you do, um, and, 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 and please respect my wishes. And I said one more thing. That was the second thing, but that was what I said. And he, that, that, and that was, and then like the next couple of days, he sent her. I mean, he deliberately. It's where at this point, I just want we're we're done. We're not together anymore. I have, a question. I have a question. Do you do you ask for Christmas money for somebody you're in fear for your life from? Come on, man, you a joke, bro. Leave, please leave me alone. I mean, that, how is that? Just leave me alone, man. Let me live my life. I don't want no more harassment. So, Mr. Sergio, what do you, I mean, so he was with you and your daughter 15 years of your daughter's life, so. No. Well, that's what he said. No. 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 When I, met, when I met them, she was one, she's 16 now. 
You do the math. Okay, yeah, I'm a lawyer, not good at math, but no. Um, I, I was with Mr. Montgomery. My daughter was two. Um, I, from her being two until her being about eight. Your Honor, and, with all due respect, I can make this short and brief. I don't, I, I, don't, bother, I don't bother her. And it's not even lie. Her. I like to, I like to at least have a half a day at work because this has been the biggest waste of my time. I didn't know if I didn't attend. I mean, I was sorry, what, what is it that you want from him? Because I mean, I just want to be left alone. Okay, this is my concern. My my daughter and I safety. There's no reason why Mr. Montgomery should contact my daughter or my or me. And I I mean I was wanting to accommodate like kind of my daughter's wishes, kind of just trying to um I mean, you know just trying to make me because I don't want him to just contact my daughter. She's 16 years old. I have no contacting her. I don't want to see him anymore. I don't want her to see him so anymore. So what would you think his intentions are? That's what I have no to- clue. How do you change your posture and try to act differently, this lady? So you don't want him to send the money directly to your daughter. You just want him to send it to you, uh, asking politely. Why not tell your daughter to stop asking him for money? Eh? We all know the money is not the problem here. It's the fact that she doesn't control the request, the frequency, and the amount. That's the main problem here. That is the issue. Just leave this man be. Leave him alone. He's frustrated. She keeps repeating the excuse that she wants to protect her daughter from a man that cares for her and has been protecting her all these years. There may be some truth in it, but the fact that she kept on asking him for money before filing for the TPO, it has made me lose every trust I had for her. What do you people think? Am I misunderstanding the whole situation or am I just being unfair? Leave your comments down below. I don't want to see him anymore. I don't want her to see him anymore. So what would you think his intentions are? That's what I have I no clue. Well, I mean, but you email saying this is what she needs. You appreciate your help. But my, my email before that said, listen, because initially I thought that um, it was like trying to make things right with me or trying to do something to make sure. But every time I would say thank you or something, he would be so angry and rude. So, I mean, I don't really see it's, it's like some, some ill intention. You're so honest, he's using his court and hogging up the court, wasting the court time. I, I guess he's trying to har- further harass me and up I me, mean, uproot my life. But I haven't, if it weren't for this court, she wouldn't have never even laid eyes on me in two, going on three years. So, Miss Thursdale, you don't want him, if it, I mean, contact me. I, I would like, it's like a, a, a year, I would like a permanent. Okay, okay. No, that, that, that's not the way it all happens. But here's the thing. But, but because honestly, right. so my you, daughter and I, my, one more thing. I'm saying this is what she wants for Christmas and you appreciate his help. So, had he always told her, hey, when you make an A, I'm going to give you money? Okay, it, it's like I, I have PTSD from dealing with him through my therapist. I mean, through that that time when I was I was telling you the time we were together from when I was two, when she was I was six years, I abruptly left Mr. Montgomery for something better because he abused me a lot. And so when I started dating him again, it was the same thing. And so that's just it. Your Honor, I don't want him. I mean, I, I don't need to take my daughter. Can, she can talk to y'all. I, I'm not interested. Hold on, hold on. Did he give her money before when she's made good grades? Yes, that's not so, in place. Huh? I mean, that was before I mean, when we were dating. We're not dating anymore. But I mean, so when did he stop giving her money? Always. I don't know. But the whole life. So my point is that I don't feel comfortable with any connection with Mr. Montgomery at all. Oh, and I want my daughter okay. to be protected. So, well, oh, but your daughter's reaching out to him. So have you had a talk with your daughter not to contact him? Thank you. If he had met her demands and sent the money directly to her, I don't think she would have filed for a TPO out of nowhere. We are now hearing that he was abusing her. Madam, next thing you go say, be kidnapped her too, Abby. Yeah, I've had a talk with my daughter, but that's my daughter. I mean, it's my job to protect her. Well, exactly. She's a child. But, but, but if she, well, but she's also 16, and I don't know how it was when you grew up, but when my mama said don't, she meant don't. Well, I mean, it, it's not, I, I did say that, but I want her to all, also, this is a second layer of protection for her. So she is 16 and I don't know the intentions of Mr. Montgomery. I would just rather feel that I'm um, just to protect my daughter and myself. So you want to protect I, I mean, your daughter from him sending her $50 for every day? From any contact period. But how has the contact with her been harmful is what I'm trying to say. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, it's a potential, him. it's a potential that I want to protect from. I don't know locations being shared. I mean, I'm just being a mother to protect. Okay, no, all right, I understand that, but here's I mean, the thing. Mr. Montgomery's like 45 years old. I don't see why. I mean, that was when we were dating. During our, I mean, that's not my problem. Technically, it's not his daughter. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel like I'm not um, doing my daughter a service to protect her to the fullest because I don't know Mr. Montgomery's intention. So, so here's the thing. So 
I can't put a TPO in place because you think maybe something might be happening in the future. It's not like Tom Cruise. Movie. I mean, for the, the you know, where it was like in the future, whatever. Put that Tom Cruise movie. Anyway, okay, for the blatant violence that has been done to me, family right. violence been convicted of. Right, and I understand that he's been on probation and he's he hasn't contacted you. He was, you know, your daughter was obviously reaching out to him, and she's done that. So, Mr. Montgomery, I guess. Bought my daughter's number or tell her, and I guess when she's, you know, 18 and moved out or wherever, she can contact you if she wants. But Ms. Tonsley, you also can't call him and say she wants help with Christmas. So you, you, and but he, did you think a message before that? You said I was trying to try message to you before that message. Did I say one more thing? If he's calling you half of the message. Okay, but, but did you not tell him don't send it to her, send the money to me? Nobody leaves a relationship without having something bad to think about the other person. If the two of you were saints, there will be no need for a separation. You're trying to file a protective order against somebody who has never been hostile against your daughter. Does it make sense? This man that wants to be left alone. This man that does not interact with your family except when your daughter triggers it. I beg, go and sit down. The thing is, I understand his pain. He truly cares about the young lady. At the same time, he doesn't want anything to do with her mother. But his love for the young lady is making him ignore his frustrations. Now it has left an opening for the mother to frustrate him even more. The safest thing for him to do now is to just cut ties and explain to the daughter that if he continues this interaction, the mother will just get him into more legal trouble. Unfortunately, this is a battle you don't want to be in. It is unwinnable. For people who still question why guys avoid single mothers, this is one of the reasons. He invested 15 years of his life that he cannot get back, only to be treated like a stranger, even worse, a criminal. I hope this video blesses you. Please share this video to people on your socials and help the channel grow. Thank you for getting us to 400 subscribers. We are trying to get to 500 subscribers. So please click that subscribe button, notification icon, and also like and share. Christ willing, I will see you guys and gals later. Bye-bye.